Well, welcome back to UFC tonight. Speaking of the ultimate fighter, we've got not one, not two, but three contestants from the next season. I am sitting next to potentially the first strawweight champion in the UFC. I've got Carla Esparza, Jessica Penny, and Rose Namajunas. Thanks, ladies, for stopping by. Very excited. Now, I saw you in July at the beginning of the season. You had just gotten to the house. So I want to know, did the experience live up to your expectations now that you've lived through it? I'll start with you, Carla. Well, for me, it did. I mean, I knew it was going to be like so many ups and downs. It's going to be crazy just talking to people who have been on the show. And it was. It really was. Yeah. Jess? It absolutely did. It was a once in a lifetime experience, and I'm so glad that I got to go through it. Rose? Uh, for me, you always hear all these horror stories going into the house and um, just a lot of people that knew had that experience before. Um, but going into it, it, it definitely um, opened my eyes to how great of an experience it could be. You know, I feel like I've really grown as, uh, as a person, and I'm really grateful for it. I'm curious, too. Certainly, there's a lot of history between you. The, you know, the women's division uh, for strawweights is very small. No pun intended. You guys are tiny, uh, but you're fearsome. Uh, a lot of history between you. So, Jessica, I'll start with you. Was there anything strange about living in the house with people that you have fought before? Um, it's an experience that I don't think anyone has ever gone through before. And it's definitely not normal to be cooking breakfast next to your opponent and riding in a van next to them and training alongside of them. It's just, it's, um, it's a really intense experience and um, a little bit overwhelming at sometimes. For you, Rose, was it odd at all? I mean, um, for, it was a little strange. Like, obviously, I I get a little uncomfortable when I'm trying to cook a meal and there's so many people in the house, um, in the kitchen trying to do the same thing. But um, as far as like the fights go, I, I kind of feel more comfortable being around my opponent. I like to, um, I, I know what they're doing. You know, I, it's not I'm not creating some imaginary monster in my head. You know, while I'm just trying to imagine what they're doing. So being around them, I feel more comfortable. And you, Carla. Uh, yeah, I think it was definitely a different, different experience. I mean, usually you, you you see what's going on via social media, like, oh, they're training, they're doing this, they're doing that. But now it's like you know you're right next to them. So it's a pretty crazy experience. And was there anybody in particular that was hard to live with? Maybe it was you. So, Rose, I'll start with you. Um, well, in the beginning, I feel like uh, Heather and I, like, you know, kind of clash heads every once in a while. But, um, you know, uh, we just we just have different personalities and, you know, we kind of just stayed out of each other's way, and actually, she's she turned out to be cool sometimes and very helpful in, in certain certain ways. Um, Lisa Ellis also, we kind of went through our couple arguments here and there, but um, other than that, you know, it it uh, I guess it never, didn't really affect me too much. Either of you have one particular uh, adversary? <laughs> <laughs> not not really, but I mean, you live with somebody long enough in that close of proximity, and I mean, people are bound to get on your nerves. So there were there were just some things that wouldn't have normally bothered me by just living so close. I mean, literally living on top of each other. You know, it gets it gets a little frustrating sometimes, but um, I was really lucky. I had awesome roommates. Uh, Carla, Felice, and Alex were my roommates, and we got along really well. We had a lot of fun. Nice. Um, I mean, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say there was a couple people who, like, I didn't like so much, you know. Um, who is it? <laughs> it's, that's a really hard one, you know, because you are like living with your competition. You know, there are people do get, you know, competitive and they get like this and that. So, you know, it's not it's hard to say if that's like, you know, are they bad people? Are they like this or is it just like that competitive edge? So it's hard to say. I don't hold any grudges. You know, I'm over it. It's done with. So. And luckily you get to work it out <laughs> yeah. uh, physically if you have a problem. Uh, just to wrap things up in one word, if you could summarize your experience in the Ultimate Fighter House and or on the show. Amazing. Once in a lifetime. Roller coaster ride. Craziness. <laughs> awesome. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be such a great, uh, a great season. I'm really looking forward. Congratulations on all your successes already, ladies.